Hello guys, uh, Free Will Tutorials here with another tutorial. Um, this tutorial is a GIMP tutorial, and today I'll be showing you how to make um, how to make uh, curved highlights. Now it's really simple, but you know, I had some trouble with it. You know, I've always been trying to do this. It's actually very simple once you get it, and it's gonna be a short tutorial. But you know, I just like to make videos, anything that will help you. So first, we're going to make a um, new image at any image size. I'm just going to do 640 oops, by 640 and click OK. Now quickly, I'm going to make a background. Let's see. I'm going to click my gradient tool, and I'm just going to try blue to green and change the shape to conical and I'm gonna hold down the control button and go straight up and we'll have this and then I can change the mode to overlay and I can just add as many as I want you know actually I'm just gonna do regular one because it's hard to see them Alright, so what I'm going to do first is just grab my text tool and use anything. So I'm just going to use Tomaha or Tahoma, Tahoma Bold. And I'm going to first type, let's say, curved text. I mean, curved highlight. Oops. You can see I'm going to enlarge the text just to what I think looks right. Now it's best to have them in one line so like make it like don't make multiple lines it doesn't look as good that way. Now what you want to do is just add any type of uh, gradient here. I'm going to go blue and then I'm going to do a darker blue. Which I, I like that gradient it looks really cool. And then I'm going to hold control and just go from like the topest point to the most bottom point. Oops. And don't forget to uh, change the gradient back to FG to BG or foreground to background and uh, the shape to linear. Now do it. And you'll see we'll get a nice highlight. Um, cur um, no, I'm sorry. A nice uh, gradient. I'm going to right click off the selection, select grow by one and I'm actually going to uh, make a new layer and name this outline oops and I can use uh, black just to make it stand out so paste that in and move it behind curved highlight and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl oops, click on it and then press right. So wait, click. And by doing this, it kind of looks like a shadow. And if you want, you can even go layers, um, layer to image size, filters, blur, gosh and blur. And just do a five. And you see, it looks pretty cool. Now to actually do the curved um, highlight, what you want to do, oops, I'm sorry guys, what you want to do is go right click alpha to selection, and you can either do it just like this, or you can select and shrink it by one or two, depending on the size. Now you want to grab your, uh, your um, paths tool, and an easy curve, you can just use the ellipse tool actually, change the mode to uh, intersect, make a new layer, and name it highlight or whatever and then you know you can do this but that's too easy and it sometimes it just you may use it too much and it becomes too familiar so what I like to do sometimes is you don't have to have to select it but what you want to do is just click on the left side and click on the right side it doesn't have to be straight just like that and then hold down control and move one part down and then keep holding it 
and just keep moving parts up and down. It all depends on how much you actually want. Then click on the right or left and then just make it a double back and press enter. Now what you want to do is grab your gradient tool, change the foreground color to white, click OK, um, change the gradient to FG to transparent, and do it only just above the, the words, and then do it just below the words, like that. Select none. Now what you can do is right click on curve t um, on the uh, text, right click and go alpha to selection, and you can do it just like this, or you can go select shrink as I said before one or two and then go select invert go to your highlight and press delete select none and you can see it gives it a nice a nice uh, highlight and personally I think it looks a lot better than just doing you know a circle or even a square what you also can do is just tone down the opacity and there you go um, what you also might want to do is uh, merge it all together now and then duplicate it and uh, layer auto crop layer I'm gonna move this oopsie sorry move the move tool and move this a little bit then go right click alpha to selection click the bucket tool and change the color to black and then do fill whole selection and just paste it in select none and then change it back to fill some more color since that's used more and then what we want to do is click the perspective tool click it reset it and just move the bottom to up you can even uh, move this upside down and you don't have to be exact by any means and click transform and now you can move this below it and then blur this and there you go you can kind of uh, see it and when that doesn't look good you know oops I'm sorry I forgot to mention you just move it down and once you it's moved down, you just click layer, layer to image size, and then filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and then you blur it. So um, there's no exact number, just do it until you think it looks good. I'm going to actually do an 8 this time. And then you can auto crop the layer. So that's how you do this, and that's how you do a curved highlight. If you have any questions or video requests, just uh, leave a comment or send me a message. Um, if you have any suggestions, do the same. And if you like this video, rate it five stars. Um, or you can rate it on however you think it should be rated. I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day. See ya.